people giving a big chunk of our lives and seeing them grow and develop and build what just evolves Humi day after day, year after year is, is the best thing. So I don't know if I have any real business starting this company in the first place. I wasn't an insurance broker. Uh, I don't have an HR background. Um, I think the thing I do have that probably underscores a lot of the stuff here is um, just an understanding of how important people are within a business. And so with Humi, we really thought there was this amazing opportunity to build something that could save a lot of people a lot of time. Um, automate a lot of really mundane processes that aren't very much fun to do. And so getting the opportunity to sell to Canada specifically and getting the opportunity to uh, work with friends as as clients uh, for me was was really exciting. Um, and and that was that was one of the, the most exciting pieces for me that really drove me to working on Humi. I, I think the, well, the thing I'm most proud of is our retention. I think that like that is we, we've done some very special things as a software company now from like revenues to client size to depth like the reputation there's a lot of awesome things we've done but again it's a byproduct and power of our people starting something out small and having you know more and more people kind of join force and work together towards a common goal it to me that's the most rewarding uh, thing about it for me that's always been the the motivation is getting to craft uh, an incredible team and create a you know a set of rules or lack thereof that can make for work being really fun and rewarding. The whole idea of work sucking is not doesn't have to be real. And I think that people giving a big chunk of our lives and seeing them grow and develop and build what just evolves Humi day after day, year after year is, is the best thing. I am the anti-tech startup entrepreneur. Um, I have no specific routines. Uh, I don't have a specific diet that I swear by. I don't have a specific bedtime that I believe in. I really think that there is um, uh, no method to my madness personally. I wake up every morning between five and 5.30 and mostly because I am a terrible sleeper, <laughs> but also because it's the time that I get to myself. Um, and I love to go for a walk, grab a coffee. I normally make a coffee myself, so nothing's open that early. Uh, and listen to a podcast and either learn something or get lost in thought, thinking about the day or, uh, you know, something to do with the business, but, you know, be able to like live in my head in a way that's somewhat meditative uh, before I, you know, have to start engaging with other people. You write down three most important things that you need to call up the next day, circle the one must, and do it both personally as well as professionally. You tend to focus on the professional, but then you remember things like, you know, I'm gonna fast until lunch, right? I'm gonna exercise, you know, I'm gonna say I love you. Since COVID, I've changed my routine to do a morning and evening stair climb. So just uh, get the, uh, the body moving a little bit so my uh, back won't hurt sitting in a chair for the rest of the day. <laughs> Um, and then a little bit of a lunchtime run as well. So just quick run to grab, you know, lunch from a place nearby and then uh, bring it back home to, uh, again, eat in front of the, uh, the computer. <laughs> uh, for me, I just do what needs to be done. And usually that is, at this point, um, helping my wife take care of our, our kid in either the morning or the night and making sure that our dog has been walked and fed. That is it. I get up at 6 a.m. every single morning and I get a lot done, you know, before the day starts. And so, but you know, not all people are morning people. Simon, for instance, you couldn't wake him up with a gong right next to his head, right? But you know, I'll frequently get Slack messages at one in the morning because he's working on something. So at the end of the day, find your productive time, I guess, whether it's morning and night and block it because it's gonna really move the needle. Do I shower every morning at a specific time? No. Do I skip the shower sometimes? Yes. <laughs>